At the moment, if I select a variable product on my store, right here under the variations, you see under size, users need to scroll down to choose the particular size they want and also scroll down to choose the particular color they want. What if you want your users to have a visual of all the sizes to be displayed right here and also all the colors to be displayed right here? To add variations to my WooCommerce store, I'm going to install a plugin. For this, I'll go to the back end of my website. What I'm going to do is I just hover here, then I go over to dashboard. I'll just open it in a new tab. From here, I go over to plugins, click on add new plugin. Under search plugins, I search for variation swatches. I'm going to use the very first one that is variation swatches for WooCommerce by Imran Ahmed. I go ahead and click on install now. It is installed. I click on activate. Now immediately after activating the plugin, let's go back to our single product page. Then we refresh it. And this is how the visual will come up. Isn't this cool already? Maybe for the size, it is okay. But for the color, we want to see the actual colors instead of seeing them in ways. So let's see how we can fix this. For us to be able to fix this, first of all, we need to set our variation swatches at the back end of our website. To do that, I go back to the back end. Then I hover on products, click on attributes. At the moment, you see that we don't have any attributes here. However, the reason why we have attributes right here is because I set these attributes at the time of creating this particular product. So let's see how we can get new attributes here. The first one I have is size. You can enable it for archives if you want users to use it to filter in future. Going down, we have type. I drop down the arrow. Take note, I'm going to go ahead and use a button. Then I click on add attribute. Let's create our second attribute and that is color. Going down, I enable it for archives and then the type is going to be color. Then we click on add attribute. It should be noted that you can add as many attributes as you want. Now that we have our attributes, let's go ahead and configure the terms. The first one I'll work on is size. So I click on configure terms under size. I enter small, then I go ahead and click on add new size. The next one will be medium, add new size, and finally large, add new size. Now let's go back to attributes. Since we are done configuring the size, let's configure the color. So I click on configure terms under color. Let's refer to the colors we already have here. So we have white, black, blue, red. So I'll do the same thing white going down from here click on the color then i go ahead and choose a white color let's click aside it is active then i click on add new color and we see it right here next i have blue going down i click on color then i go ahead and select a blue color i click on add new color going up we have red going down i click on color I have a red color here. Maybe I want to make it tick a bit like this. Then I click on add new color. Finally, we have black going down. I click on color and I have the black color right here. Click on add new color. And now we have all our colors. It should be noted that we have set the attributes here. It doesn't really mean that it will affect it right away. If I refresh, you wouldn't see any change because we have not added those attributes to the product yet. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go to edit products. Instead of clicking on it, I'll open it in a new tab so that I don't lose this page. And I bring this tab here. Going down. Now if I go over to attributes, take note this is the earlier attributes we are having on the product. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off. I click on remove and then remove. Then I save attributes. Now let's go ahead and add the new attributes we added earlier. So under new, I drop down the arrow here. And you see that I have color and size. First of all, I want to add size. If I click in here, you see all the sizes I have. I can easily click on them to add them up like this. Or if I don't want to do that, I can just exit them. Then I go ahead and click on select all so that all my options will be available for me. Next, let's go ahead and add another attribute. And this time we are going to add color and color as well. I'm going to go ahead and add all the colors like this. Then I go ahead and click on save attributes. 
next let's go over to variations and from here we are going to go ahead and generate variations then we click on ok and now we have all our variations here so you see we have small black small blue small red small white medium black medium blue medium red medium white up to the end the next thing we are going to do here is set prices for them so i go ahead and click on expand so that all the variations will be expanded for me the first one i have here is small black take note so we are going to add the black shirt i have it right here I select it then i click on set image going down i'm going to enable stock management so that i'll be able to enter the amount of black shares i have first of all let's enter the price which is going to be 35 if i have a sale price i can enter it here that is a discounted price of the regular price i'm not going to go in there so let's enter our quantity here which is 28 so i have 28 of the black shares that is for small going down next we have blue so i select the blue shirts enable stock management price is going to be 29 and stock will be 11 going down now i set for red so i choose my image going down enable stock management then the price is going to be 29 again and quantity is 24 going down i have white so i set the image this is the white shirt set image enable stock management the price is going to be 25 and quantity is 10 going down so now we are done with small we are now going into medium so i start with black again for medium like this enable stock management then i enter the price and the quantity is 55 so similarly i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the rest and get back to you all right i've entered all the various prices then i go ahead and click on save changes over here you can add your product gallery i already have them because i'm editing a particular product let me take them off i'll also take the product image off and show you how you can add that first of all let's choose the product image so i set it for this demonstration let me use the red color earlier it was the white color as you can see it is on top here so now i'm going to use the red as my featured image and then the product gallery i'll go ahead and select the other colors so i have white blue so in order to select all at once i hold down Control key on the keyboard then i select the rest like this i click on add to gallery from here i can rearrange them just the way i want like this so let me see this is how i'm going to arrange them going up i click on update or in your case you need to click on publish if you are adding it as fresh so now all is set if i go to the front end to my product and refresh let's see what we'll get this is how it will come up awesome isn't this cool so if you just select this take note the red color is the default i've selected small i'm not going to see the price changing until i choose a corresponding color so if i choose black you see i have black to be 35 ghana cities and i have 28 of them in stock let's choose blue to see how it will come up maybe this time around medium and i choose black blue red perfect so that's it on how you can add variation swatches to your woocommerce store